guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing <laughs> it's so exciting to be on your screens again today i'm still your girl josephine air and this is fix it with josie i'm a Cameroonian content creator based in douala cameroon i make educative and entertaining videos on parenting relationship marriage counseling lifestyle vlogs and more how on a day Hope everyone is doing fine. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this link to watch my video. I appreciate you all a lot. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please, if you're new, if you're seeing this, my pretty face for your first time, please hit the subscribe button. It's below here. Just hit the subscribe button and join the Fix It family. You are badly needed mm? in this Fix It team. We need you. <laughs> like the video. Give the video a thumbs up before you even hear what you're talking about today. Yeah. Like the video, guys. In today's video, I want to share with you five things that shows that he is the right man for you. Yeah, five things that indicate, that shows, that proves that yes, he is the right man for you. Take him serious. Mm, stop playing around, my jelly. <laughs> when you see these five things, be serious. Take him serious. He's serious with you. He loves you. He may be thinking of settling down with you. It's just a matter of time he'll tell you about it. But when you see these five things, then he is sure the man for you. So if you're interested to find out what these five things, what these five major things are, stick through because you will not want to watch the first two and click out without knowing what number four and number five I bow, so stay right there and let go. <laughs> so the very first one we're talking about is love. Yes, it's love that brought you two together, and um, the love must be strong enough to keep you two standing the test of time. Yeah. So um, some people love. Uh, some people are in love with their boyfriend, with their husbands, with their wives, and uh, there are situations that come and it proves that your love was not strong enough. So to show that he is the man for you, one of the reasons, one of the things that will indicate that he is the man for you is the fact that he will love you regardless. He will be ready to stand the storms. Mm? He will be ready to stand those difficult moments, those, those challenging moments that will come in your relationship during courtship. He will stand his ground. He will not fall for any cheap lie that comes from left and right. He will just be there for you. He will stand his ground for you. Yeah. He will adjust for you. Yeah. One thing I want to emphasize is the fact that when you are in love, when you are in a relationship with someone, you should not expect them to change for you. Mm -mm. Love does not change anyone like that. I don't think. It will only help you to adjust, to, to meet up with, to compromise. Yes. Love is all about compromising. You compromise some of the things, some, some, some things you sacrifice them in order to make your partner, in order to make your friend, in order to make your wife to be happy. Yeah. So if you see that, oh, time to time, he's trying to, he's making efforts to adjusting to the kind of things you, what you like. Not necessarily changing from who he, he already is. Just trying to adjust. Okay, for example, if he's a guy that keeps late nights, he hangs he hangs out with he hangs out with friends and comes home late, sleeps late. Maybe you call him. There is still noise coming from his background, indicating that he's still with friends, probably at twelve midnight or at one a.m. and it's something you don't like. So when you bring it to his notice that, see, I don't like this late night attitude. I don't know if, if, if there is something. I don't know if it's possible for you to work on it. I don't really enjoy you keeping late night. It's risky and it keeps me disturbed. Keeps me wondering and just being concerned about you. Then the guy that loves you, truly loves you. He will not look at it as if you're trying to be controlling, like you want to control his life. Yeah. One thing that happens that some men used to start saying, oh, you cannot control me is because the love is not strong enough. So that time that they need to adjust, when you see, bring up something that you, you are not content with, something that you're not happy about, they kind of see it as if you want to control them. It's an indication that the love is not strong enough. So they are always trying to still prove that, oh, they are still trying to prove their masculinity. Yeah, they want to still feel like, oh, I'm the man, you cannot do this. But when you meet that man that really loves you, when you say this, I don't, I don't think keeping late nights is not a good idea for you. It's risky. Just bring up some reasons why it's not healthy for him. And if it's a man who truly loves you, he will consider working on it. He will change. He will adjust. Yeah, let me not say change. I don't want to use the word change. He will adjust to fitting 
the, the watch you actually like you work on that part of him and probably stop the late night habit yeah that is what love does it makes a man adjust to some of the things the woman in his life loves yeah that is what love does so if you meet a man who is so in love with you and from 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 first look from super superficially it looks like he's so much in love with you and you see something that is going really wrong with him one something that he's doing bad and you try to bring it to his attention and he says you cannot woman need to control me you cannot control me if he doesn't love you he doesn't that kind of man will not adjust for you even when you get married to him so when you meet a man who is ready to adjust who is ready to fix things for you then my dear that man is the man for you just be serious with him <laughs> the second point i'm going to talk about is forgiveness yeah this one is very 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 crucial <laughs> Forgiveness is very crucial, my dear. If you meet a man who loves you and can forgive you, then he is the man for you. He is serious. He is very serious with you. He wants to. He wants. He wants something deep, deeper with you. He wants something long in a long term something with you. He he's not just playing around. He's willing to make it work with you. Mm -hmm. So some people cannot forgive. Some people are so so unforgiving. To the extent that they will not even call to check how you are doing. Now, if you meet a man whom after a fight, she, he still bothers to call and find out how you are doing at the end of the day. He still bothers to give you money to eat. He still bothers to maybe call you and find out whether you are eating, give you, give you money to do your hair or this. Even why there is still a fight going on and he still cares like that. My dear, don't joke with that kind of man. Oh. Ha. They know plenty for outside, hold on tight. When you see that kind of man, don't play with him. Yeah, don't play with him. He loves you, he truly loves you. And he is the right man for you. So you have to take him seriously. Yeah. <laughs> the third thing I'm talking about is maturity. Yeah, maturity. When you meet a man who is mature enough to tell you to your face that, babe, you're wrong. You see, you would have done it like this. I don't think saying it like this was the right way to put it. You would have put it like this, it would have sounded better. He loves you, that's maturity. Not a man who criticizes and says, Oh, you always do this. What kind of nonsense is this? And we even bring insults. That's not maturity. And for the most of you, some of them will even be physical with you. That is already violence. Papa, you don't do that to a lady you, you are in love with. Hmm? My dear lady, if you see that, pick your slippers on your slippers on your shoe. Run, don't come back. Because if a man starts using verbal words like a man start verbalizing you while in courtship while in just you are just dating then it's not going to get any better when you get married yeah don't take him seriously when you see that don't take it but if you see a man hmm, if you see a man who is mature enough to correct you in love hmm, to handle situations responsibly hmm, to face problems and solve them without bringing in third parties Without going to have a, a press conference with his friends and your name is a headline, then my dear sister, take him seriously. If they can, they can, they can be mature enough to correct you in love without mocking, without insults, without verbalizing, without being violent, then take him very seriously. He is a serious guy and he may want something long term with you. Don't play with him, guys. <laughs> Don't play with such a man. Yeah. The fourth point we are looking at. If a man is respectful, if a man respects you a lot while in courtship, in a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship, then there is a high probability that he could be a man for you. He could be that man for you. So don't joke with him. Yeah. In our society today, especially in Africa, it is very, very rare for a man to respect a woman. Yeah, but men are always craving for respect from women. Yeah. It is very common to see a man say, she, she is disrespectful. But you hardly hear a woman say, he does not respect me, he's disrespectful. It's like, it's, it's like, it's a, it has been kind of, it is normal for men to expect respect from women. But it's almost not okay for a woman to say, oh, he does not respect me. It looks like, oh, you're a woman. So should he respect you? Yeah. If you see a man who does not respect you as a woman, then mm -mm, that's a red flag. And so when he respects you, take him seriously. Yeah, he is the right man for you. So just pray about it. Ask God if you should go ahead. And of course, 
you know for yourself what the answer will be. If you see all these things, it just indicates that he is the right man for you. Yeah. And to add, if he is supportive, yeah. These days, it is very difficult to find a man who really supports your dream, who is willing to help you grow, who is there for you, mm? always ready to give in what it takes for you to grow, to be yourself, to improve. Keep that man. Yes, he is the man for you. Don't joke with him. Don't, don't, just stop playing around. Some of you have lost good men because you, you were still doubting if he's actually real or not. So when you see these things, my dear, know that he's not a playboy. He really means business. Yeah. And of course, when he loves you, I forgot to mention, when he loves you, he will create time for you. Yeah. He will be a good listener. He wants to listen. He wants to be there for you. He wants to spend more time with you because he values you like that. He loves your company. Yeah. So when you see these things that I have mentioned like this, my dear ladies, please take him very, very seriously. He is not a clown. He is not trying to taste waters. He already has seen what he wants and he just wants to, he just wants you to be serious. And if he sees that you're serious, no time he'll pop that big question. Yeah, he will pop that big, big question that most ladies want to hear. So please, if you see these things, don't take him for granted. Don't play around. Just know that he is serious with you and he is thinking about long term with you and he loves you like that. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, my dear ladies and even the men watching, please let me know your opinion down in the comment section. Don't click out without liking the video and please subscribe and join the Fix It family. Like I always say, we cannot be fixing it alone without you. You are badly needed in the fix it team. Let's fix this together. <laughs> See you in my next one. I remain your mama. Fix it with a pretty face. Ready to fix it at all times. Bye-bye.